please don't tell me she carrying that freaking cat around in this whole movie. A quiet place day one. Dang, I'm mad. I ain't got Emily Blunt in it. Let's see what this picture got. Yes, it's the cat. <laughs> what the hell? Where I'm going to hell and you got a cat? Carrying around. Listen here, people. That cat better have some. Nope. We seen 475 days later. We in my blunt. The creature was still running out there. The freak, I don't know what the hell. What the cat got to do? The Peter, Land Sam. Shimon, my man who played on Fast and Furious and the other movie, we don't know who his character is. But you got Joseph Quinn, who is Eric, who looked like was at the end of the trailer, was running around with her inside the building as the creature fell down through the ship. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. But we know we love the creatures. We've seen it on A Quiet Place 1 and 2. I mean, you know, the father died, hard-headed kids, baby won't stop crying. She done died almost numerous times. Woo! A girl a blunt. But this one's carrying a cat around. I don't know why we got the cat. I don't. I don't even. I don't even. I don't even know. I don't even. But that's what we got, my peeps. We got the cat. So <laughs> yeah. it looks exciting. I mean, you in the city. I mean, devastation, destruction. You know, people fighting for their own life. You know. You know. You know, man, pushing people down, stabbing the back, throwing them down in front of people. Hey, you know what? If you're the slowest, you die first. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I got on the good. Yeah, we got to give it to good. I mean, man, I, I, I just think that from being in the city, them making it through the city, I see how that goes. I mean, because all they got to do is be quiet. So I don't know, man. I, but she got the cat. <laughs> Definitely worth going to see. I mean, man, I mean, I think they're going to. You know, in most of these pictures, they're making it from point A to point B. That, that's simply it, you know. Then they got to transverse the city to go wherever they're trying to go to, you know, without making any noise. But, I mean, we've seen 470-some days later, which is a little over about a year, year and a half, like the creatures were still there. They didn't find any way to really defeat the creature, so... So let's see, but at least we did see they came in like they're like for meteorites. So they are creatures from outer space, I'm I'm, I'm guessing it. So uh, you know, they're giving us maybe like said, a little bit more history on it. Uh, I don't think they're gonna tie in the uh Emily uh storyline from what they're doing. So maybe just them trying to escape the city. Maybe maybe they, they was in part one or part two in some way, you know, maybe they was already dead, or maybe Emily Blood and them passed over a certain point and we didn't know, but then it shows, you know, kind of connection, or maybe not, maybe just a Totally different standalone connection, but uh, you know, I think they have added it to a radio tower. I wonder if that, but they were on the little island. But you know, who knows? Who knows? But anyway, my people, 
don't stop liking, don't stop subscribing, don't stop commenting. Ah, oh, and above all else, my peeps, keep that popcorn popping, keep it popping.